Did you know that approximately 45 million Americans each and every year suffer from headaches and migraines? And that migraines alone cost in excess of $35 billion per year. Now I'll be the first to admit that sometimes reaching for medication can be helpful. But if you're looking for a more holistic or natural approach, in today's video, I'm gonna give you 10 holistic natural tips to help with headaches and migraines. Hey, I'm Dr. Devin Atkinson from Atkinson Family Chiropractic in Denver, North Carolina. And over the past 15 years, I've helped thousands of people kiss back and neck pain goodbye. So let's dive into those 10 strategies. Number one is heat. I rarely recommend heat, but heat can be good for a tension headache. So pop that heat pack onto the back of your uh, skull or on the back of your neck, help get rid of some of that tension. But if you're having a migraine, do not use heat, use ice. Number two is an ice pack, chilled and cold. If you don't have an ice pack, use some ice, use a bag of frozen peas, whatever you need to. You can put that ice pack on your forehead, on your temples, on the back of your neck, head, uh, at your base of your skull, or on the back of your neck. On to tip number three, Self-massage. Self-massage can be really good for many different types of headaches, particularly if you have sinus headaches. Try massaging across the forehead, the temples, and at the back of the neck. Now because many headaches have a stress component to them, tip number four is to try relaxation. When I think of relaxation, I think of finding a room all by myself and just sitting and doing some deep breathing exercises. Three to five minutes, just sit there, breathe in through your nose, and then out through your mouth for three to five minutes. If that's not your thing, you can find a guided meditation app to do from your phone. Um, there's all kinds of apps out there to help you with guided meditation to help you relax. On to tip number five. Tip number five is hydration. You've probably heard that water is the best way to hydrate your body. Guess what? It is. Start with between one and a half and two liters of water every day. So about a half a gallon per day, work your way up if you need to. But just remember, if you're drinking sugary drinks or coffee, they can dehydrate you. So make sure you drink more water if you're gonna have sugary drinks or coffee. On to number six. The research world continues to be amazed about the effects of magnesium. Low magnesium has been clinically related to an increased risk of migraine. And they found that supplementing with magnesium, surprise, surprise, has been shown to decrease both headaches and migraines. My favorite magnesium is from Standard Process. They grow all of their own food uh, and then they squish it down into a pill. It's fantastic. Standard Process has a magnesium supplement called Magnesium Lactate. It is excellent. Get a good magnesium supplement and give it a go. On to number seven. Keep active, not a surprise there, exercise is important. A large study of over 92,000 people found that the people who exercise more often have fewer headaches. Now you don't have to be an Olympic athlete, they found that as little as 15 minutes per day is really, really helpful for getting those headaches to go away. So just keep moving. On to number eight, which is sleep. Not a surprise here, but people that consistently get less than six hours of sleep every night have more headaches compared to people who got more than six hours of sleep per night. That's a really good one for you to try. Now on to essential oils for number nine. This surprised me too. My wife for many, many years has been an essential oils guru. Uh, I didn't think they worked at all until I tried them myself. Uh, there's lots of clinical research that's been done on both lavender and peppermint essential oils. Lavender and peppermint are really, really good for helping decrease headaches and migraines. And finally, if you're a headache sufferer, on to number 10, last but definitely not least, is get a chiropractic adjustment. There's a growing body of research that shows that headaches have a neck component to them. Even tension and migraine headaches can be affected by the neck. In fact, in a 2011 study in JMPT, they found that chiropractic adjustments were very helpful for both migraine headaches and cervicogenic headaches. There you go, there's 10 natural alternatives to give a go to avoid those painkillers. Now, if you found today's video helpful, go ahead and share it with a loved one who may find this information useful if they're suffering from headaches especially. And if you've been suffering with neck pain, shoulder pain or tension headaches or even migraines 
Give the office a call at 704-827-6560. We've been helping the East Lincoln community for over 15 years and headaches and migraines are the number one uh, problem that people have come in to see us. Have a great day and we will see you soon. Bye.